Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Unity crash error with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart Steam. So go to Steam, hit exit and then relaunch Steam and then check. If that does not work, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working, allow the game exe file to antivirus programs. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, Whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, in that case, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow, click on add an allowed app, click on browser apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, in my case, the game installed in this location. So go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box, then click on control panel. Go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings, click on allow another app, click on browse, and then go to the game installation folder once again, and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file, click on open and then click on add. In my case, the game is already added. So once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to verify the game files. This is important. So make a right click on the game, select manage, uh, select properties, make a right click, select properties and go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. So instead of launching the game from here, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. This will take you to the game installation folder, make a double click over here and then launch the game from here. Just make a double click. If that does not work, make a right click on the game exe file, click on properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, go to properties and this time put a check over here and then select hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, select Windows 7 this time, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. Now. When you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes. Hit apply, click on OK, and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to rename the save game files. Now, when you rename the save game files, you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So create a backup first and then rename the save game files. For this, you can open File Explorer on the computer. Go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Open the local low folder. Open sassy chap folder. Over here you can see date, everything. Open this folder, open this folder. Now this is where you have the save game files. Now to rename the save game files, uh, you can just make a right click copy this folder first so create a backup now once you have a backup over here now you can make a right click on the game folder rename it and once you rename this folder now you can launch the game but the game will start from scratch and if you face any problem if you want to get the original folder back you can put it back but rename the game folder and then you can check save game folder now the next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer. So if you have OTAs, wheel, uh, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected, disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party services or application running, close it. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to do not overclock your computer. If you have overclocked, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application, like if you have MSI Afterburner, Reva Tuner, or any kind of overclocking application running, close it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click in the game, select properties. Turn off the option, which is enable the Steam overlay while in game. Turn it off. 
launch the game and then check. If you have any other overlay application running like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, go to NVIDIA app settings, turn off NVIDIA overlay. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added over here click on the game select high performance over here and you will see your graphic card now you can launch the game next we should try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option make our active in the game select properties go to general tab in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can close this launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 and then launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this once you empty it now follow the next step now the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings go to windows update and then click on check for update in my case ignore this resume update option in my case i have just stopped the update for some time uh, due to some reason so you will see check for update option click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in the browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio files you have to download this x86 and x64 so download both the files so click on it and then run this exe file now if you see the install option hit install if you see the repair option click on repair click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well we run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once installed restart your computer restart your master after this and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will 
open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working make a right click on the game select manage click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to different drive drive like d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then install the game to run another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel